The Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO has successfully conducted the maiden flight trial of its stratospheric airspace platform on May 3, 2025 from Shiopur in Madhya Pradesh. Developed by DRDO's Aerial Delivery Research and Development Establishment, the ADRDE in Agra, the airship ascended to an altitude of approximately 17 kilometers, carrying an instrumental payload. The stratospheric airspace platform is a cutting-edge, high-altitude, unmanned system that soars nearly 17 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Operating in the stratosphere, it's built to carry advanced payloads for surveillance, communication and Earth observation, offering satellite-like capabilities at a much lower cost, with an added benefit of being retrievable and reusable. The altitude allows it to serve as a persistent platform for surveillance, communication and Earth observation similar to a satellite but at a fraction of the cost and with the advantage of retrievability and reusability. Key systems including envelope pressure control and emergency deflation mechanisms were tested mid-flight, with data from onboard sensors being collected for future high-fidelity simulation models, the 62-minute trial concluded with successful recovery of the system for further analysis. The Indian Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh hailed this achievement, calling it a major step in bolstering India's Earth observation and intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. The DRDO Chairman Dr. Samir V. Kamath termed the test as a milestone in developing long-endurance, lighter-than-air platforms for high-altitude operations. The groundbreaking partnership between NASA and India's ISRO is moving closer to liftoff. The NISAR satellite, set to transform the way we observe the Earth, is now eyeing a June 2025 launch. This mission is poised to provide vital insight into our planet's shifting landscapes and environmental concerns as they continue to mount. The NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar or NISAR mission is set to launch from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center aboard a GSLV Mark II rocket. This 2.8-ton satellite, costing over 1.5 billion US dollars, will be the first to use dual-frequency L-band and S-band radars scanning nearly all of Earth's land and ice surfaces every 12 days. NISAR will track changes in ecosystems glaciers and crustal movements with centimeter level precision, offering unprecedented insights into climate change, natural disasters and more. NISAR will provide open access data to help scientists and policy makers tackle global challenges like earthquakes, landslides and melting ice sheets. Initially planned for 2024, the mission faced delays due to technical issues with its 12-meter radar antenna reflector, which required a reflective coating to prevent overheating. After rigorous testing in the United States and Bengaluru, the satellite is now on track for its June liftoff. NISAR's data will support disaster response, agriculture and infrastructure monitoring with applications from tracking Himalayan glaciers to assessing earthquake risks, its open access policy ensures global access to this vital information. Orbiting at 747 kilometers, NISAR will generate 26 terabytes of data daily, penetrating clouds and darkness to map Earth's surface. NASA provides the L-band radar and key system, while ISRO contributes the S-band radar, spacecraft bus, and launch vehicle, thus marking a landmark in US-India space cooperation.